It's nice. I mean, I, I always like Helsinki, and we always have really good shows here for the most part. We've played some uh, interesting shows. We've, we've did a big one with Audio Slave one time. Uh, we played in this, like, death metal, black metal festival uh, four, mile, four uh, hours away in the forest. That was pretty crazy. And then, you know, last time we were here, we did a club show. And it was, uh, it was yeah. yeah, and you I'll know, you I mean, it's 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 nice to come back. I wish we could come back sooner, you know, instead of later. It seems like it's been a few years. The magazine is not primarily a music magazine. So could you explain huh? to to uh, some of our viewers uh, what your band sounds like? Well, basically, what the kids are telling me, or what the you know the folks, uh, they kind of refer to it as more of like a. Punk Floyd, <laughs> kind of progressive rock with punk rock hardcore roots, um, a bit melodic, a bit heavy, a bit folky, a bit shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, you've never shied away from uh, political context in your young music. No. Uh, What's that like now? Do you have uh, the latest record, a political message? Um, I mean, I think like for us, we've always had like different things to write about, subject matter, you know, narratives and ideas and whatever it was, I guess we were interested in. Um, we kind of write about that. So there was like, a, I guess there was a couple of political songs that we were, you know, we, we, we kind of grew up with bands like Fugazi and, and the 90s had more of a political context to the music. So yeah, I don't know. It, it seems like politics and music go hand in hand. There's a lot of uh, ways to like get a message out and you know, we, we, we feel like that there should to have that conversation. You should have that, that, you know, even if it's just bringing a question into the into the picture, you know, it's always good to like challenge uh, somebody with, with information that, you know, they don't they don't know about or they're uncomfortable with, you know. So what, what, what sorts of themes are you talking about? I guess like we were we were kind of talking about sort of like in the song Worlds Apart, more about the crass commercialization and, and of American culture. Kind of like this, how, you know, it's basically American culture is so into itself, so narcissistic that it's, you know, it's dumbing itself down. You know, there's a movie called Idiocracy. Have you heard of that movie? I've seen it, yeah. Yeah, uh, by Mike Judge. Yeah. and. I kind of feel like we're like almost heading into that kind of world, you know, and you know, it's just scary to yeah. me. Yeah. So, uh, let's try one question, although there's sound checking in the, in the background. Uh, what do you say to people who, who say that music shouldn't be political? It shouldn't be just just be fun with you know, music. I mean, there's room for for that too. You know, I think um, you know. Uh, I was watching an interview by Kendrick Lamar, and you know he he's he's a rapper that's that covers a lot of sort of social political you know political things in his music, but um, at the same time you know it's there's also a kind of a playfulness too you know to it, and like it's kind of uh, you know to me like I think you know there's room for everybody you know I I just feel like right now. The, the the writing in, in a lot of like rock and roll music is so like trivial you know it seems so like shallow um, and I, and to me that you know I more power to you if you're gonna sing about girls and you know or relationships maybe that's what makes the world go around but sometimes it's nice to like get something that's a little more meaningful I mean I, I feel like you know you know, where, where I live, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a challenge, you know, I live in Texas, so I have a, a really repressive kind of con, uh, conservative government in, in power, so, we, you know, we're always having, you know, a lot of, it's just, a, you know, it's, locally we have to 
vote and try to fight the, the conservative element, you know, in our city. So, so what can the uh, audience expect from your gig later? Um, well, I mean, I think, you know, <laughs> loud. <laughs> We're gonna be loud. Good.